It's Wednesday, April 4th, 2007, and you are watching The Ointment. It's Landmine Awareness Day. I'm Steve Tatum. Watch where you step. It's Wednesday, and as I do every Wednesday, I have a special guest coming on the show. This week's guest is named Sally Mullins. She's a very funny comedian, as you will see shortly. But first, I want to tell you about an idea I have. It's about this thing we call the Internet, which is supposed to be, after all, interactive. And for a little more than a year now that I've been doing this show, I've been talking at you guys, and now I want to give you a voice on the show. So... What I'm going to do is ask for you to send me a video about something that's in the news, anything that either excites you or bugs you, whatever it is. Make a video about a minute long and send it to me and maybe I'll put it on the show and you could become a special ointment correspondent. So send your video to fake news at theointment.com. Again, make it about a minute long and we'll see what happens. We'll figure it out together. I look forward to seeing those. But first, let's get to our top story. Our top story, there's a drought here in Los Angeles. The longest drought in recent memory. And by drought, when I say drought, I mean the starlet hasn't flashed her <laughs> to the world in hours. As I mentioned, today's guest is Sally Mullins, a funny Los Angeles area comedian who can be seen at local comedy clubs like the Comedy Store in Hollywood and the Ice House in Pasadena, among others. And today she's gracing the Ointman Studios. And Sally, I've got to say, you look very lovely today. And uh, if you don't mind my saying so, that's a, a very nice outfit that you have there. Thank you. Yes, I just got this um, at that store in the mall, uh, Forever 38. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen. It's a sale, Cougar and Milf Day sale. So, I was in there early. I didn't want to mess with those milfs. They will claw you. you know? Cougars hang back a little more, but those milfs, you know. Whew. You yeah. gotta watch out for them, huh? Came out all right. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm not one of the, you know, I shouldn't really be calling myself a cougar. I mean, I like, I like young guys, but it's, it's not always the way to go because um, it seems to me, Steve, that every time I get involved with a younger guy, I get hurt. I, I'll start thinking, oh, he's just my party buddy. You know, I'm the sugar mama. I pay for the pink dot. That's what I do. <laughs> but sooner or later, I'm going to be like, oh my God. Look at the way he holds that joint. He's going to make a great dad. <laughs> Never works out. Never works out. <laughs> well, with those criteria, I, I don't know why it's not working out for you. I can't figure it out either. It's, it's a lot of divorced men, though, really. No, my real dating pool is divorced men. That's your and, area? Yeah. Are you divorced, Steve? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, I hope to be divorced myself someday. I don't <laughs> ask it in a bad way. But I am dating a lot of guys who are divorced. And had a bad experience on this one um, date recently. This guy was like, uh, Oh God, I hate my ex wife. I hate her. I was with her for two years and she got everything I had. And, and I was, you know, well, I, I, I don't want that, but I'd like a beer. <laughs> if that's half your stuff, your lawyer sucked. <laughs> It's hard enough to find your own place to live, you know, it's expensive in LA. For home watching, it is hard to live in LA, it's very expensive and uh, looking for a new apartment right now and this landlord, he seemed real nice at first, he said to me, it's not the best cast of characters in this building. We've got some recovered addicts and we've got some addicts who are just starting out. <laughs> We've got some older prostitutes, but most of the sex offenders here are pedophiles, so there's no one bothering each other. And I said to him, I said, well, I'm just a stand-up comic. And he said, get the hell out of here. I said, no, really, I'm at the improv comic. He goes, no, really, get the hell out of here. I don't want your kind. Lost the horse, no more comics. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's, it's tough, isn't it? It is tough. It's real easy to fall into a lot of negative patterns. I, uh, I try not to date guys for money, although a lot of my friends do, and more power to them. You know, I mean, uh, I'm not that young anymore. If I want to get a sugar daddy, he's going to be way up there, and chances <laughs> are he's not even going to know how much things cost these days. He'll be like, here, honey, here's a $20 bill. You get yourself some new shoes and a dress. <laughs> And a hat, some jewelry, pick up your rent too. Yeah, I, I don't. 
I like that he's buying you hats, though. Yeah, yes. Yeah, like, well, it's a different era. Right. Him. And I do appreciate it. I tell you what, the hottest guy I ever hooked up with in L.A. was broke. He was a mall security guard. And I just moved out here. My mom wanted to know, were you meeting producers, directors? And I said, oh, he, he works in the mall. He's a security guard. And she said, oh, he doesn't, doesn't have a lot of money. And I said, no, but any guy will take a bullet for eight seventy-five an hour. Imagine what he's doing for sex. <laughs> just try to make my mom feel better. I'm sure that was a great comfort to her. Yeah, yeah. Brought my mom a lot of comfort, you know. <laughs> Over the years, I'm sure. <laughs> well, she must be very proud of her. Oh, very. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing comedy and... Uh, Is she a fan? Oh, she hasn't seen it. Hasn't seen it. Maybe she'll see this. Oh, <laughs> well, let's cool. hope so. She's a lovely woman. She's an English woman. Lovely woman. Yeah. But, well, you know, she's got, a, got an English accent. Like, um, I could be in a department store when I was a little girl. And uh, my mom would say to me, you know, stand up straight. Look me in the eye. Piss off. <laughs> and people would come from all over the store and they'd say, you know, ma'am, we heard the way you were talking to your little girl just now and your accent is so cute. <laughs> well, Sally, unfortunately we're out of time, but thank you very much for coming on the show today. I really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, Sally Mullins. And finally, I have some news from the Food and Drug Administration. The FDA has decided to relax the rules on irradiation of food. That does not sound good to me. Relaxing the rules. Some of the food that's now being radiated is going to be now labeled as pasteurized. As in, yes, I got the cancer from the pasteurization. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum and that's news. I look forward to receiving those videos. Send them to fake news at theointment.com a minute long. All right, all you ointment correspondents, look forward to hearing from you and we'll catch you tomorrow, everybody.